Prescription stimulants are used to treat ADHD, binge eating disorders, and narcolepsy. Yeah, but the shortage of these prescriptions is frustrating patients and their families. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now with more on this. Haley. Yeah, and I've actually heard from several of those families worried about this. One is here in our newsroom. A mom worried about this school year because there's a real shortage of drugs to treat her daughter's ADHD. Like a normal child, she'll talk, but it's over the limit of talking and not paying attention. Millie Cantinia said they searched for answers by getting her daughter tested for dyslexia and other learning disorders, but she struggled in school so badly, they ultimately held her back a grade. She wasn't at the level where other kids were gonna be, so they gave us the choice to hold her back and let her mature, let her understand a little bit better, and that has been the best thing that we could have done for her. The year they held her back, they also began a low-dose ADHD medicine, and suddenly everything improved. Once the medication started, she became a straight-A student. For families like hers, the FDA and DEA said they are working within their power to solve the drug shortage. However, they cannot require a pharmaceutical company make more of a drug. The only thing really within their control is getting down to the problem of where the shortage is coming from. And here's what they've found so far. The shortage is thought to have started last fall when one manufacturer experienced delays, therefore putting a higher demand on other drug makers. There's also a record high prescription of stimulant medications. Data from 2012 to 2021 shows stimulant use increased by 45 and a half percent in the U.S., particularly during 2020 and 2021, when virtual prescribing was permitted during COVID, the percentages in certain age groups grew by more than 10 percent. Luckily for Millie's family, they were able to find some medicine to start the school year, but each month brings more worry that they won't get it again. It is worrisome to think that during this school year, there won't be medication and she has very heavy classes. Is she going to fail? Is she not going to be able to handle it without the medication? It's truly a struggle. So now when will the shortage end? There's really not been a clear answer on that. And like I said, the DEA doesn't have any power to make these companies make more drugs. They, of course, control these substances because they can be abused. So what they do is they allot drug makers a certain amount of prescriptions that they're allowed to make every year. So they're saying, hey, just go ahead and dispense everything you've made for 2023, because in past years, they've only made about 70 percent of what they're allotted. Uh -huh. So they really want to calculate who hasn't made the full allotment for this year and then they can dispense those allotments to drug makers who will and therefore maybe get some more drugs back on the shelves. I mean, yeah. That is a really legitimate worry for parents. What if what, what should they do if they just can't get their hands on these medications? Yeah, well, actually, the Mayo Clinic addressed that and put out some coping skills. And that includes, they say, using reward systems, giving brief and direct commands, developing your routines around homework. And of course, keep healthy sleep and diet habits. Of course, we say that for every health story that is so important uh -huh. and these coping skills are up on click right now all right good information thank you haley